Pardon slash, here we go. Randomly generated world layouts. You get sent back to the beginning every time you die, but don't worry, all the story events get saved, so you never have to repeat them, which is nice. Because if I have to make the choice of trying to preserve myself, or I take a risk to beat a boss, I'm gonna beat that boss, because then I probably won't have to fight them again. Progression is obtained through items that you find randomly. You get three at the start. And these upgrade components that you collect from defeating enemies. Every time you get a certain amount, you get a new upgrade point. Spend those upgrade points on your gear or your body parts to improve them. Unlock new skills or more damage. All these different weapons have their own attack animations, so experiment to see which one works best for you. I thought I'd be really into the boxing gloves, but turns out I wasn't. When working with your upgrade points, keep in mind that when you die, you get to keep all your unspent upgrade points. I like this system because it means you can do some grinding if you get stuck on a boss, like I was the first boss. It's this real risk-reward system. Do I want to be stronger now, or do I want to be stronger later? Because you never know, you might get destroyed. When you have items you don't need, you can recycle them to recover your health, or gain more health, which I like to do at the beginning of every run, because usually of those three starting items, one's a trash item. There's elemental affinities, but you don't exactly know what they are. It can be sometimes hard to tell because enemies don't exactly tell you whether they're weak or resist to them. At least, not in a clear way. Combat is a bit clunky. It's not Platinum Games level of, of smoothness. But it gets the job done. It reminds me a bit of that one game, Brutal. Remember Brutal? All the enemies have attacks that are telegraphed quite nicely, which is great. Yellow icons, red icons for melee, and the enemies with projectiles will give you little homing missile things or preview lasers. I don't know what the difference is between the yellow and red icons. I think one, I think the yellow ones are blockables while the red ones have to be dodged. I'm not entirely sure. I do enjoy how even though higher upgrade enemies appear to be just a palette swap, their designs have enough of a difference so that you can clearly tell, oh, these guys are the real deal. Plus, enemies can hurt each other with their attacks, so that's really fun to mess around with. The story events do mix up the gameplay enough to keep things from being too repetitive, such as a moment when you are no longer able to dodge, or story-specific boss fights. There's multiple playable characters to unlock. I've only just started, so I don't have many. It seems like your progress is determined by challenges, which you can clearly view from the beginning. And the Platinum Trophy seems to be about unlocking everything, so that's clear-cut and there's no lame things to do. Ah oh man, look at the little guy go! He moves so fast! Maybe he moves too fast. It'd be nice if I can lock on on the enemies, or at least have the camera focus on them, but once I've gotten used to it, it's not so bad. You will want to play with the camera sensitivity, because on the PS4, man, it's way too big. Plus, I really like the music. 